Hi, my name is Chris McKenzie, and I'm an engineer on the K4U team at Opaque Multimedia. We work with advanced technology, and in this video, we're going to talk about our plugin, Connect for Unreal. So, this allows you to use the Connect 2 for Windows features in Unreal Engine 4. Now, previously released version 1.0 or 1.0 version of this video, um, we're going to talk about version 1.1 here. It's gone and it's undergone a couple of changes, so we're going to demonstrate some of them here. We're also going to have a look at some examples that we've made. So, to jump in, um, the plugin, like any other plugin, you can drop it into the folder. Once you've installed the Windows uh, Connect for Windows SDK, you shouldn't need anything else. Uh, if you open the project up again, you'll see it's auto-enabled. And we can talk about what it actually gets you. So, once you've got the plugin in, you can um, get any kind of information that Connect to for Windows um, offers you in their SDK, exposed through the Blueprint system in Unreal. So for example, we have the 25 joints of the human body, um, their position, rotation, and delta position, as inferred by the Connect. We have the camera feeds, red, green, blue, infrared, and depth. We have hand gestures, support for six people. We have uh, the ability to infer tracking states about both who is being tracked and what parts of the body are being tracked and access to the Connect audio features through their array microphone. So in Unreal, we uh, supply access to all of these features through Blueprint. So it's all through Blueprint. You won't need to build any code. You won't need to use a code project. You can just drag it in. And using our interface components, you can drag out all the Blueprint nodes that you need. So I'm going to show you around this, which is our introduction level. So at a glance, um, it shows you a couple of the basic features um, that you can expect to be working with in Unreal and demonstrates them, gives a little context to the functions we'll be demonstrating. So, um, we're going to do a whistle stop tour of this room and talk about some of the changes that have occurred since version 1.1. 1 .1. uh, so, in front of us is Liam, our technical artist, who is here to demonstrate uh, the various Kinect sensing um, capabilities by moving his joints around. So you can see we're using the Connect to infer where his joints are, and then we get that data, we've piped it into Unreal, and we're using it to just move these five orbs around. So obviously you get more joints than this, but we're just using this, uh, these five for demonstration. So you can see roughly the area which the Connect allows you to see, and also a demonstration of the setup, wherein if Liam walks forward, he walks forward X forward in the Unreal world towards the sensor, and if he walks back, it's X negative. So, how does this work under the hood? Let's have a look. I click here and edit this blueprint. Let's open up the blueprint editor. We see that um, we've used some, we've wrapped this function here. We can jump in. We have now the Connect Interface Component, and this is one of the biggest changes since 1.1. We used to rely on what we called the Connect Player Controller. Now we have a Connect Interface, so if you want to add um, Connect capabilities to any Blueprint, you can add a component, type in Connect, and Connect Interface is the first one that comes up. So when you click on that, you'll get a Connect Component attached. In your event graph, you can drag anything out from that component. If you type in connect, you'll see all of the different functions available to you. So everything that you can use. Here, we've just used the absolute position, so that gives you a um, vector. And it's important to note, uh, when we do expose everything to Unreal, we do it on Unreal's terms. So you won't have to use connect uh, coordinates, you won't have to use connect um, values, everything. If you get it out, if it's a 3D measurement, it's just an F-vector, so you can use that for whatever you like. And in this case, we're using it to set the location of a sphere, and that's it. So I'll hop out, and let's have a look at some of the other features around the room. So, in brief, we have a demonstration of delta position, which is your change on a current frame in position of any given joint that you like. We've also demonstrated uh, some of the macros that we've made available, which allow for a little bit of a smoother experience. We have derived rotation, 
which is a little bit of vector math we're doing just by using the position rather than rotation of in this case the elbow and the wrist so we can work out what direction the elbow and the wrist of each uh, hand are pointing in and we also have the raw for those of you who prefer it the raw feed from connect um, just smoothed and unsmoothed here I'll talk briefly about the audio as well you can see as my voice peaks you can see that the sensor moves up towards one and it's also detecting very slightly the angle of my voice speaking of angles we've also got a pitch so you can see that this connect is pointed up a little bit and uh, you'll be able to see in the demonstration if you move your own connect that the uh, red arrow will go up and down as you move the pitch also touch on camera frames so we have these three infrared RGB and normalized depth you can see RGB just a regular camera and again all of these are just textures anything you can do with a texture on Unreal you can do with these we've got normalized depth um, we've uh, changed that a little bit from the Microsoft SDK demo so it's not banded you can see that as Liam moves towards the back he becomes brighter until he reaches the max at which point he disappears so you can use that for things such as banding and stripping certain components out of the scene based on how far away they are if you'd like to do texture masking we can also see the infrared which is just a cool infrared camera and again you can do anything you like to that frame once you've received the texture so let's move on let's have a brief look at avatiering um, this is a very commonly requested feature we've got a couple of different methods doing it here we have an animation blueprint so that's uh, running through Unreal's animation blueprint system and you can composite and modify those as you like we're demonstrating a blender rig uh, so this is a standard Unreal rig this is a blender rig and we're demonstrating also our connect posable mesh which is a drag and drop component if you just want to get something in very quickly literally drag and drop and you're on your way let's take a brief look inside the animation blueprint of the um, pardon me of the avatiering avatar we've arranged this in three brief groups the core so that's your head your spine and the base of your spine your arms and your legs fairly easy so you can see that we have a function here we've uh, piped in our centered body through the um, event graph of the blueprint as opposed to the animation blueprint once we've got that we can see uh, we can use these functions get converted joint orientation so you can just drag and drop and create these once you have the rotation you can drag it in and modify a bone however you like so that's literally what we're doing we have the different bones we've iterated them out and this example is available to you so if you want to get started quickly you can copy that and modify it as you wish and this will work to um, get you on your way puppeting any unreal style um, skeleton which is driving an avatar and at the last just drive uh, everything you have into that final animation pose and you're on your way very simple so lastly I'll just show you how some of these can come together as I've said before once you've got the connect data in it lives in Unreal's world so anything that you can do with for example you'll be receiving floats and F vectors and F textures anything you can do with those yeah you can do with what you'll receive from Connect for Unreal. Uh, in this one, Liam is clutching an existential horror as his face has been censored. So, just a quick demonstration of how we've combined the uh, 2D and 3D variables that we've gotten out from the system. So, I think that's it. Thank you very much for listening, and be sure to check out our upcoming videos going into a little bit more depth on the different parts of uh, Connect for Unreal. Thanks very much.